Iran intends to acquire Russian Su-35 fighter jets, confirmation came from Iran as well. The source quoted by us Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force Area of Commander Brigadier General Hamid Behedi spoke to Iran's Barna News Agency. The Russian Su-30 fighter was in our plans, but it is no longer on the agenda. We are discussing the purchase of the Su-35 flanker E from Russia. This aircraft is on the agenda, and we hope to be able to get these fourth plus plus generation fighters on the future," the general told Iranian media. Hamid Vahedi confirmed that the decision on the purchase of the Su-35 will be finally made by the general staff of the armed forces. However, a BulgarianMilitary.com source in Iran confirmed to us that the decision has already been made and will be announced soon. This means that negotiations between Tehran and Moscow will begin in the coming months. Against the background of the war in Ukraine, economic sanctions imposed on Russia, and political isolation, Moscow is expected to respond positively to Iranian demands. According to Turkish sources, Iran is ready to acquire the 24 Su-35 fighters produced for Egypt. Egypt refused at this stage their delivery, and the reasons could be to a technical problem that has not yet been eliminated by the Russians, or fear of economic sanctions from Washington under the Katsa law. Brigadier General Hamid Behedi gave a positive assessment of the Russian Su-35. According to him, it is one of the most advanced 4 plus fighters in the world. In front of the reporter of the Iranian agency Barna, the general argued for his choice, listing a significant part of the technical characteristics of the Su-35. Suchoi Su-35 is the name for two heavily upgraded versions of the Su-27 flanker. These aircraft are sometimes also referred to as super flankers. The first variant was developed in the Soviet Union as early as the 1980s. The version, initially referred to as the Su-27M, had a revised airframe, duck wings, and enlarged radome for the N-011 radar and improved avionics. Financial problems in the 1990s and a lack of export demand contributed to the fact that the first Su-35 design was not developed to series production level despite numerous prototypes. Some machines were used by the Russian aerobatic team Ruskij Wajasi. In 2003, Suchoi began to modernize the Su-27 again extensively, in order to create an interim solution, until the Su-57 was introduced. The duck wings in the airbrake of the first Su-35 draft were omitted, the airframe was reinforced, and the avionics and radar improved. The more powerful engines have a thrust vector control and should allow supersonic speeds without afterburner. The Russian Air Force ordered a total of 48 machines bearing the type designation Su-35s. Another 50 aircraft were ordered in January 2016. Based on the operational experience in Syria, among other things, the air inlets of the engines are modified to improve protection against foreign objects. Avionics hardware and software are being adapted to better combat ground targets. After the first draft of the Su-35 failed to show any export success, the development of a new Su-35 began in 2003. The Su-35's internal code BM, was presented in 2007 and completed its maiden flight on February 19, 2008. The machine is based on the Su-27SM, which is why the Russian Air Force initially used the designation Su-27SM-2. The third prototype was lost on April 14, 2009 during flight tests. The test pilot was able to save himself with the ejection seat and was uninjured. Nonetheless, at the end of 2009, series production for the Russian Air Force began. They initially planned the acquisition of 24 to 36 machines. 
At MAX 2009, at which the Su-35s was also demonstrated, the Russian Air Force finally ordered 48 machines that were to be delivered between 2012 and 2015. Another contract for the delivery of an additional 5664 machines followed in the summer of 2014. The number of machines ordered for Russia will thus initially amount to 104 112. The first production aircraft took off on May 3, 2011, in Komsomolska Mamur, with Sergej Bogdan at the wheel for its maiden flight. The cockpit has been completely revised and is now designed as an EFIS. It mainly consists of two large MFI 35 color displays, each measuring 229 x 305 mm and 1400 x 1050 pixels each, on which sensor and flight data can be displayed. There are input keys on the edges of the screens, and the HOTAS concept was also implemented. The X1M head-up display has a field of view of 20 times 30 degrees. The pilot sits on a Svesta K36D 3.5E ejection seat with 0-0 capability.